number one lesson of the day, which is the celebration of Mass, which can be held anywhere where there's a freestanding altar. When Christians were persecuted and forced underground, they celebrated the crucifixion in catacombs, in secret crypts. But today, my friends, I invite you into the light. Valerie, imagine running into you here again. What, are you trying to take my job? Your words, Father, they really moved me. All right, what's the matter? I'm too embarrassed to say. <laughs> Silly. I'm much more progressive than you think. I'm up on all kinds of stuff. If I told you everything that I know, you'd be scared. You see, not all priests play strictly by the book. Promise not to laugh? Scout's honor. I've never stayed in a co-ed environment before. Hmm. Tell you what, let's pretend that we're schoolmates, BFFs, huh? You can confide in me. Come on, Valerie. I don't know if my will is strong enough. Oh, I see. Well, you know, I'm no stranger to temptations either. This collar doesn't always quench my longing for a uh, premium grade A cigar. Hmm? And sometimes Dominicans are all I can think about. And I've been known to sneak into the uh, cigar box during Lent. Tell you what, if you truly are concerned, I think I might have just the right thing for you. Father, it's beautiful. As Jesus said to Mary, you are the one I love. But please, dear, remember, everything that I've told you is true. Everything. There's more to this reality than you may think. There are dark forces at work in the world. Governing each path. It's, it's like a, a game of checkers with equally opposing sides. But only you, only you can choose whether to side with good or with evil. Whatever happens, Valerie, don't lose that necklace. It's the only weapon you have against the forces of darkness. There you are, silly. Camera. And you're on the break? Going a little out of my mind. Papa and the boys are waiting. Oh, cute necklace. Thanks. Father just gave it to me. Each their oh. own. Remember, we have to get my stuff on. Sure.
Seriously? Have you even seen this place? Oh, wow. You aren't kidding. These antiques look incredible. Not a bad way to spend a long weekend, eh? Although this website kind of looks like it was made circa paint program. Yeah, it's not that bad. And as they say, you can't judge a book by its cover. So, Valerie, uh, Tara tells me you just moved to NorCal. I figured I could use a change of pace. Sounds like we missed each other by just a semester. Yes, uh, Tara and I made quite the team. Let's just say I was her private tutor. Well, say lovey, you were the best. Now I have my new study buddy. <laughs> Hey, uh, could you drive any slower? Hey, what the hell, man? Oh, sorry, dude. We gotta stop. No! He just complained about going too slow. I think I'm gonna be sick. Hey, are you okay? <sighs> Thank you for being such a gentleman. It's all right. I'm excited for our adventure to continue. Likewise. Go ahead. Careful, girl. Is it really that obvious? <laughs> <laughs> Motowns totally creep me out. It reminds me of this story I once heard about the Salem witch trials. <laughs> this mother was banished for having a baby out of wedlock. The child was given to a barren couple who made a pact with the devil. The town attempted to torture the woman, but she escaped using her witchcraft. It's a bit early for bedtime stories, don't you think? Apparently it's true. That sounds crazy. God, this guy takes forever. What's he doing? I'm gonna go tell him to hurry up, or we're never gonna make it to the house. Okay, but watch out, because you know he's probably jerking off, right? Yeah. This is really... Oh my God. Nice bathroom. Come on. What? When's it illegal to take a few tokes? Oh. <laughs> hey, calm down. Let me live. Jeez, so rough. Right, over. I didn't know that about you. He's blitzed out of his mind. <laughs> oh, 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 no. I don't know, I must have hit something. Hey, 
Hey, man. Hey. Donde estas la casa de Windsor? You know? The house of Windsor? La primera casa en la colina. It's the first house on the hill, huh? I don't know. It looks like there's a gate up there. It looks locked. How are we supposed to get up? I'll open it for you. Here we go. Nymphos and blow. Just keep your bromance away from me. That's fine. You and I will be sharing a room. You're joking, right? How many bedrooms are there? Just ignore them. You can have my room. I'll sleep on the couch. You cock block. Yeah, it's actually more decent than I thought. We all have our lapses in judgment. I hate you. unhappy with the website. This place looks like Oz or something. This is the rental? Wow. Let's go. Hello, darlings. Arrived so soon. I guess we got lucky with the traffic. Well, then, I guess luck has afforded me an extra hour at the spa. Jim Chang has such wonderful hands. Quite the master at his craft. We are looking forward to our stay here. Well, make yourselves at home. Mi casa es su casa. Of course. Could they take this one out? They dug her up from the era of chivalry and etiquette, where elders were to be admired and respected. Despite my years, my hearing is quite acute. I take care to avoid sarcastic remarks of the future. If your words give no one pleasure, then perhaps you should keep your thoughts to yourself. I didn't think she were here. Dude, she's hotter than both these chicks combined. Knock it off. Where are we going? The house is back there. Let's not get our wires crossed. Your house is over there. Staying in a guest house? Through the archway, guys. This house looks so weird. There better be a mini bar. They're all trash this place. Shall we? Yeah, I'm not sharing a room with him. You know, Val, can I call you Val? Cool. There is no reason why we can't comfort one another. Tara, shares these? Oh, yeah. You're not even going to consider it? I'd rather sleep on the floor. I know you can't resist the big bad bear. I'm wanting it too, sweetie. Ugh, I'd rather drink bleach. Fucking tease. Why 
did she even find all this stuff? At my after party where only ballers are allowed. This weekend is gonna be epic. I got a blonde and a redhead on speed dial. Escorts. Dirty, dirty stuff. Can you please wait till the madam leaves for once, man? Please don't mess this up. Do you ever think about anything other than sex? Not when a hot babe like you's right in front of me. Ew. You're such a dick. Nice. What? Well, Tara told me that she's still a virgin. Oh. Hell yeah. I'm all over this. If you say so. Val. Hey, Val. Where are you going? When I agreed to the trip, I didn't realize I was getting trapped in a cellar with an ogre. I know. It's stupid. I know. Hendrik only invited him because their parents know each other. If he wasn't such an idiot, I would almost feel sorry for the guy. No way that place is up to code. I'm gonna see if we can get the big house. It's gonna cost a lot. Hey, it's only a few days. It's gonna be fun. Note the libations are for my sole enjoyment as you forfeited all right to the sapphire. Your punishment for underestimating me. About that, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you earlier. You are my guest. And there should be nothing but love and friendship between us. Madame Winsor? Please. Your rental agreement. I trust you'll find it satisfactory. I expect your Pledge of Allegiance once you've signed it. The opportunity awaits you all. This place is filled with crap. Kinky stuff, right? What does she want? She gave me a contract with all of our names on it. Did you sign it? I was waiting for you guys. Disgusting, what are those? Big Papa's tools. Pleasure devices. Medieval torture for heretics and witches. Now, sign, would you? Oh, and under no circumstance should anybody enter into my private maze. I say this for your own safety. Shall we? But the lady said not to. Well, she's not here anymore, is she? I think it's a really bad idea. Don't be such a goody two-shoes. It's gonna be fun. Guys, no. Valerie, sometimes you have to break the rules. Watch your step while treading the labyrinth. They say only a true shaman can make it to the center and escape the clutches of the Minotaur. In ancient times, the maze was a sign of royal power. For the Egyptians, have you heard of Herodotus's labyrinth? As I was saying, that maze was supposed to have over 3,000 rooms in it. Some say it surpassed the beauty of the Great Pyramids themselves. Oh, look at that. These plants are the rarest you'll find in this area. Idiot. I'll have to pay damages. Hey, did you see this?
Tara? Leave her alone. Relax, it's a joke. It's so funny. <laughs> and I know you liked it. Oh. Come on, Valley, let's get out of here. Vitamins, minerals, and all the healthy essentials. Lots of Cuervo. Lots. I am gonna get absolutely inebriated. <sighs> Valerie? Chicken. You dig. I'm not scared if that's what you think. Join the festivities. They're a bad influence, you know that. Won't have to do something to get your attention. Oh, shut up. Let's check out the place. I like her. <sighs> She's so innocent, though. Someone has to show her the ropes. Well, Valerie and I are shared accommodations. Well, I'll be sure to pay you a visit. Where are you going? You're cute, Tara. Especially those times at night after I've had a few. But you're all talk and no action. You give up too easily. I guess I'll have to enjoy this margarita all on my own. Blah, blah. And I'm gonna enjoy myself all by myself. life in California so far? It has its perks. You're not the talkative type, are you? Sometimes. It really depends. I like reserved girls. I think there's something special about them. My uncle is very traditional. We're not used to long conversations. Well, what about your parents? They died when I was a baby. I'm sorry. That uh, <laughs> must have been tough. It's okay. The rest of my family took care of me. Mm -hmm. 
You're a sweet girl. It's not hard to believe. Tara needs you. Not the best timing. She's waiting. To be continued. Now we get some quality time together. Alone. I think this belongs to you. Oh, does it? Tara, what do you want? Join me. That wasn't part of the plan. Oh, she's already falling for you. A few minutes can't hurt. Why did you ask me to come over here? Because we haven't had a chance to talk with those two around. Well, what is it you want to discuss? Sleeping arrangements. Would I try to take advantage of you? Definitely. Come on. Can't a boy and a girl enjoy a perfectly innocent conversation? Not when he's trying to get into her pants. Valerie, I'm hurt. You know, I could be a pretty nice guy. I'm sure. Why did she make him go over there? I probably should have mentioned this earlier. About Tara and Henrik? What do you mean? There's something going on between them. I can sense it. Tara is my friend. If there was something going on, I'd know. Nice. Where'd you get that? Father Matthew gave it to me to protect me from bad spirits. Oh. Shiny. Do you really care, or were you just trying to touch me? Okay. You got me. But seriously, it's a really nice necklace. Valerie. You're a real piece of work, you know that? I am so not getting late.
morning, sleepyhead. I made coffee. Get dressed. Shit. Shit, shit, shit! small talk. What happened last night, Tara? I don't know what you're talking about. All I remember is I was drinking my margarita and then suddenly I woke up in Hendrick's bed. Then you should ask him. God, I have a splitting headache. Are you like dancing naked or something? I don't recall that. Stop messing with me, Tara. You can't honestly believe I'm gonna fall for this. You guys were out of control last night. It really weirded me out. We just played some cards and listened to trance. Whatever game this is, it's not cool. Knock it off. I'm sorry if you had some kind of sexy dream last night, but nothing happened. Sorry, sweetheart. And, you know, honesty, it was going to happen sooner or later. You should be glad it happened with Henrik. Henrik didn't do anything to me. to talk. So what the fuck are you doing, man? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I saw you last night with Valerie. And I saw you with Tara. No, that was a major backstabbing bullshit. Hey, you're the one who said you were okay with it. Someone's not getting jealous, are we? <laughs> oh, jealous? No, it's not a matter of jealousy. It's a matter of respect. Oh, respect? So basically locking up all the pussy in the house. Hey, you sent me to Tara. And you left Valerie unprotected from Big Papa. Can't blame me for lapping on the porridge. I don't know what Tara said to you, but we're not gonna do that. Look, Tara, I didn't realize you two were I'm not. Now your cup of tea, I suppose. I'm not just some lame girl like everyone keeps insinuating. So you are into witchcraft? Well, no, I find it extremely creepy. <laughs> you're right. I do think you're lame. So what was Henrik tutoring you in? This. We mostly spent time hiding in the library. He would teach me a little incantations and would see whose magic worked the best. Nice deck. When touch those, black magic is not something to engage with lightly. I didn't know you were a believer. I don't know, some people believe that there's more to this world than the material senses. But besides, you can't believe everything you see. Well, I think it's all made up. And I don't like it. Nice. Valerie. Come here. What's the matter? This is not what I expected. I know. 
I'm really sorry. Sometimes terror just goes too far. Black magic is too scary for me, and you guys like it too much. Well, then we'll talk about it anymore. Besides, they like it more than I do. You know about tarot cards. How can you say something like that? Maybe this weekend has just really been too much for you. Maybe my uncle just sheltered me too much from the world. My parents weren't around, and he was scared I'd get hurt all over again. You're right. This weekend has been too much for me. I know you want to get out of here. Stay one more day. If you still don't like it, I'll pay for your flight back. Okay? Gross. Holy fuck! I think it's safe to say it wasn't a suicide. Something was moving behind the shower curtain this morning, I swear. I scared the entire property. There's nobody here. We gotta call the cops. Now! I'm not imagining it! My SIM card. It's missing. Who took them? Val? Why would I do something like that? You said you saw somebody. Where? In the bathroom. That wasn't a man? Like, what, what, what was it? I don't know. I think somebody is playing with us. leave the body where it was in case the police come. No one's gonna come, sweetheart. And I don't want to start a corpse for the rest of tonight. We should burn it. Oh, that's a great idea. Make all the clues disappear so they think we're the killers, right? You fucking idiot. Why don't we just leave? It's too dangerous, Samuel. He's out there. Oh, where the fuck is Hendrick? He should be here.
guys might want to take a seat. Someone just got murdered and you want to play a card game? Did you see the card that Samuel flipped? So it's just a card. How did she die? You're blaming me? No, I'm not blaming anyone, but do you not see the correlation? What correlation? Well, Samuel flips a card not meaning any harm, and all of a sudden the housemaid turns up dead. I mean, don't you see? Seriously, guys, this is really starting to freak me out. I wouldn't touch those cards if I were you. Seriously, dude? I just flip over a card and somebody gets fucked? I wish it was that easy. If you don't believe me, then there's no harm in it. The tarot's laid out in the form of a tree of the world. The tree is a placeholder with the fool climbing spiritual steps. And if you can learn to read the cards on the spirit level, well, some can communicate with demons. I like to call them genies. That's that last part a joke. Oh, well, maybe. I need a drink. Who said you could touch your elixirs? Yeah, it'll fry your tits. I think I can handle it. Just don't, okay? It's gonna block your psychic channels. I'm so... No. The next placeholders will be the members occupying the household. Interesting. I'm uh, hearing something. I, I think it's a voice. For real? Oh, I'm serious. What is it? I feel something. It's a demon. No. Demiurge. He's asking for permission to come in. This isn't funny anymore. Yeah, she's right, Hendrik. Maybe we shouldn't be playing with fire. Well, even Prometheus bestowed his gifts upon mankind. Let's flip the next card. Holy shit. He's asking for permission to come in. Well, don't let him in. Shut up, Valerie. We had a chance to meet this demerged thing or guy, and you want to kibosh it. Do it, man. The conjuring worked. We are being examined by the demons. We're being judged by them. Well, make it stop. What makes you think he can control this? Or, or any of this, for that matter? Yeah, exactly. Who are we to argue with the will of Satan's angels? Holy fuck. This is hella sketchy. Embrace it, brother. Embrace it. Sisters, this is our time. Our time to serve those who have entered into the magic circle. <laughs> it's working. It's working. What's going on? It worked. What worked? They answered our call. Hang on a second, Henry Potter. You're trying to tell us that your little magic trick was real? You said it yourself. You saw something in the mirror. We summon Astroth, and all of a sudden the place shuts down like an EMP. So what now? The portal's already been opened. I, for one, intend to locate Astroth, and I'm going to see what he wants. You need to calm down. It's a big place. Probably just blew the break. I'm quite sure it's not the case. Okay, uh, what, what about our phones? There's no SIM cards. Yeah, but the apps still work. Infrared app. We need to find the electrical panel. I saw it in the kitchen. This isn't a blackout. This is Astaroth. You're out of your mind, dude. Still think I'm crazy?
set. I've got a bad feeling about this. You're the one that talked about the panel. Well, maybe it's not in the kitchen. Good idea. Let's split up. What? Are you kidding me? Henrik! Tara? Share his ease. This isn't funny! Anywhere. We've opened up Pandora's box and now we have to follow through until the end. Excuse me? It's too dangerous. Henrik, you promised you would help me leave if I wanted to. I'm losing my mind. I can't stay here. I understand. But you can't go yet. This is why. Locked. Don't you see? This isn't real! I don't believe in demons or supernatural entities or whatever you keep saying this is. If you can't trust me by now, Valerie, then go ahead. Find out for yourself. What? You did this? Henrik, where are you? All the doors are completely locked. Where's Hendrik? He needs to fix this now. Let's try that window. Stand back.
it's like really weird. Some kind of barrier. This is serious. They don't want us to leave. Oh, fucking hurts. Let's find some bandages. It'll still hurt. This is an electricity or acid we're dealing with. There's something more powerful. Well, it's your fault we're stuck in here. Well, the good news is... If we can't get out, then that psycho can't get in. We have to flip the next card. The next card? Why are you engaging with this? We already started. And if any of you ever want to get out of here, I suggest we continue. If we don't flip the cards, no one gets hurt. Then I guess we're stuck in here then. Valerie, read the contract. You signed it yourself. What? The contract? The maid got killed and your friend nearly lost his hand. And you're talking about a contract? Okay, while you're playing house, I'm gonna try and fix this. Put that away. You have to trust me, okay? I'm gonna make sure that nothing else happens. Because if it does, I'll kill you with my bare hands. Not responsible for any attempts to contact the dead. The party agrees to play fully through the deck upon initiation. What? Gotta be kidding me. Guys! Guys! Don't just look at it. Fix this! It's the gardener! He killed the maid and locked the door. He had a shovel. Calm down. Why did you see him? Outside the dark study. What's that? In your hand. It's the contract. It mentions the card deck. Hangman, what does it mean? Astroth, are you here? If you were to place bricks in my pocket, would you bestow godlike powers? Let us see. So you are in the house, in the second house. And what of young Valerie? Belial and necromancy, so you are after her. I see that now. Madame Windsor knew we were going to play. It was a trap from the beginning. Why would she do that? Women do crazy shit after a certain age. What spirits whirl in the smoke? What is the meaning of this sleep? Tell me, moth. I'm a spirit. <laughs> She uses the gardener as her accomplice. Fucking bitch. was meant for you. What? Why? It's the heretic's work. You're the only one wearing a cross. He told you to hide it, but you didn't. We shouldn't continue playing. But we have to. It's in the contract. Fuck the contract. We need to get out of here. This is fucked up. No one wanted this to happen. Yeah, and he's the only one that knows how to talk to whoever these entities are. We're never getting out of here. Don't fucking say that. This was funny at first when I thought you guys were punking me, but now? This is crazy! Let's break the glass. This is not gonna work. You know, you seem pretty sure of yourself, Tara. Maybe you're the one who's behind all this. And why would I plan to do this? What is wrong with you guys? Henrik is lying here dead and all you can do is fight? Oh, and crying isn't gonna make him come back, is it? There's only one way. What way? The cards. Oh, forget it. Only Hendrik knew how. You know enough about black magic to try. You said he taught you a lot. Well, that's our only chance.
One of you must possess me, as in an avatar, as in possession, and enter the demon world. Possession? I can do that. No problem. But if you do this, you enter into a demonic world, and you must ask these angry entities for forgiveness. Forgiveness? Fuck that, I'm gonna tell them to open the goddamn door. You know, sometimes you're a real dumbass. These demons have the power to lock us in a room, Samuel, and kill us one by one. Yeah, I get it, Valerie. We're not on the playground anymore. Wake up, this is serious shit, I got this. Look, for once, can you please just not fuck this up? You enter my body, go into the demon world and ask them for forgiveness, nothing more. Hey. Hey. You're the boss. Lay on the floor. I've been waiting for you to say that the entire weekend. Dolches, Nictaris, Corpus, and Gratitor. Evaluate, Deferis, Demonis, Intranae. Samuel et corpus de corpore et le baroness. Be one with me, Samuel. Be one with me. What do we have here? It's not every day. I get a pretty girl like you. So soft, honey. So smooth. Speaking of which, what do we have down here? Holy fuck! It worked! Where's Tara? Tara? I know. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't resist. It was my first time inside the body of a woman, and... That bitch couldn't affect me. You go after her and see where she is.
This is how it started. This is how it ends. You're going. Stay back! Stay away! I won't hurt you. I've been trying to warn you since I arrived. I need to get out of here. All right. Follow me, miss. It's like we're going in circles. Trust me, I tend to amaze myself. We should be out by now. It's just bigger than you think. We're running in circles, she'll find us. 
She won't go anywhere. You almost killed her. What did you say? How did you know that? I found this on the terrace. Where did you get that? <laughs> Don't be silly. You were inside? I hope Carlos didn't hit you too hard. What's going on here? Well, that's the wrong question. The right question would be, am I alive or dead? And if I'm alive, for how long will I still be? I trust Tara told you about our family history. I've been waiting for this moment all of my life. And now, we're finally free! Free of the spell of our ancestors. In their day, it was a mortal sin to commit adultery. And I indulged in an illicit affair. And later, bore the fruit of that union. when my family discovered it. They subjected me to four different kinds of torture. They scolded me, you see? And they used forks on me, right here. And they used a bridle. And they whip me almost to death, and yet, I am alive. I escaped with my life. But my children are cursed. They can no longer procreate. And so, I perform this grand ritual to kill my last born. Or should I say, my children did it. Mom? Yes. You are that child. Remember, the Salem witch trials. A virgin must be sacrificed to end the family curse. But not just any virgin. One of our blood. But that's impossible, you're, you're... Dead? Oh, Valerie, I wish things could have been different between us. Ever since we first met, I knew our paths would cross in the middle of this maze. But the fork, it went through your neck. How is this happening? I saw it myself. Well, you claim to have seen many things. Don't forget Samuel's little stunt on the glass window. Hey, Valerie. Hey, Valerie. think so, sweet cheeks. Sometimes we drink too much. Remember, sweetheart, you can't believe everything you see. This can't be real. Oh, you have quite poor judgment, my love. Good job, sister. And you do, brother. <laughs> you guys are fucking crazy. So fucking crazy! Thanks, brother. Anytime. 
brother. Does anybody want some tea? Oh, right. The chambermaid's no longer with us, or she'd fetch it for us. This is just a dream. This is just a dream. It's real, bitch. <laughs> you people are sick. Sick! <laughs> Why show me all this? Why not just end it? We can't just murder you in cold blood. We need to recreate the circumstances of the curse. And then our tormentors become your tormentors. Then we shall all be redeemed through you. Your children are your tormentors? Yes. Oh, they played their parts so eloquently. The trusted lover turned heretic. The fool and gossip stoking the fire. And the judge, caught in a prison of her own materialism. And the guy, the guy with the shovel. Oh, the village artisan, meddling in a foreign house. And the chambermaid, prying eyes of puritanical serfs. And now, no! 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 You all are sick! All of you! No, stop! I guess I didn't warn you enough, Valerie. Evil cannot just be explained or talked about. It must be fought. Wow, this place is amazing. I wonder how far the property goes. So Dorothy, did you hear the rumors? What rumors? The girl just went missing in this county. Oh, I don't believe in ghost stories. Hi. Is this the place of Windsor? Darlings, so soon. <laughs> Come in, welcome. <laughs>